I pray for you Americans. Honestly. This sub is the best advertisement possible to discourage anyone from immigrating to the USA. He killed every urge I ever had to set foot in this country. Don't you think about immigrating to Europe? To a country that, even far from being perfect, at least has a public health system? Because based on what I read here, for the poor the US is more than harsh. It's inhumane. You read this sub and you think the average person can afford to just pack up and emigrate to Europe? LOL. What makes you think the poor have the option to immigrate to anywhere in Europe? No way to prevent this, says only nation where this regularly happens. The Onion. Every other day. The poor not only live in hell here, they can't afford to go anywhere else. We can't afford to leave. Every day. Sadly to emigrate costs money that most people don't have, myself included. Don't you think about immigrating to Europe? T. Yes. All the fucking time. It's not as easy as it sounds. Your country might be great to its own people. But nobody has an open door for immigrants. Of course we think about it. But this country has already taken so much from me. It's not as simple as just going somewhere else. My health is ruined from years of not being able to seek proper healthcare or work accommodations. While chronically ill, I doubt European countries want to accept a disabled person who struggles to work into their country. Plus I have student loan debt. I have medical debt. These things don't magically disappear if I try to leave. My husband is Brazilian, and always says America has the best marketing system in the world. The truth is you have to work three times as hard for just basic needs and goods. And you are told to be grateful and that you're exceptionally free. I am exhausted by posts like these. Don't you think about immigrating to Europe at least once a week, and I'm better off than many. We aren't consuming the product. We are the product. Our children mean nothing. Anyone who isn't top first percent of wealth is an acceptable sacrifice. Doesn't even matter if they're children. All the poors are worth sacrificing for a buck. The hilarious thing is, they have the wealthier of the poors, believing they're above those living in poverty because maybe they have a nice car or a second home. If you're a $400,000 a year household and you're reading this I want you to know that you're also in acceptable sacrifice. Your children are worthless. You've got way more in common with the welfare queen on the other side of the railroad tracks than you do with Martha Stewart. They'll easily feed your children to the wolves in front of your very eyes too. You've just been deluded by that Saxoff fifth Prada bag that they'll gladly strangle you with given an entrepreneurial chance. Absolutely yes. I dream of moving somewhere over there for many reasons. The healthcare. The free schooling. It's a horrible positive feedback loop though. You live here. You're depressed. You can't work as much because you're depressed. You might get sick because you're so depressed and unhealthy because you don't have time to yourself. Next thing you know you're in hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt between hospital bills in student loans. The housing crisis just continues to get worse. So you pay what little money you have toward bills and having a place to live. And continue to have no money to be able to leave. Repeat until you die. Sexy free healthcare. Crying face. Depends where you're coming from. I have a good friend that's Russian. She definitely doesn't think it's hell here. Russia was hell for her. Personally. Yes. I often look at job boards in New Zealand and the UK. Anyone over there need a graphic designer that specializes in marketing? I got an offer to move to the US and I declined it. 
Normally I'd list a few counterpoints in defense of the US. Can't do it today. This is home. It's broken. It needs a new foundation. But it's home. I won't encourage anyone to stay. Or to come. But it's home so I'll be here. It's so hard for the average American to immigrate or even get a work visa. You have to have a fancy skill or money to invest in their economy. Hell. You can't even move to Korea if you're on anxiety or depression meds like half the country is. We want to leave we just can't. Australia is better than Europe BTW. Especially now that one of the best ranked governments in the world was finally elected again the other day. If you want to move to Europe because of healthcare and other public services, then move to Australia instead. We ranked higher than nearly all of European countries. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.